Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jackie Nesbrough. And I'm Juan Strader. The case got worldwide attention, and Jonathan Aleda became the first officer in three decades in Miami Dade to be charged in an on duty shooting. NBC6 investigator Willard Shepard is live in North Miami where it all happened. Willard? Yeah, that's right, Jackie. This all unfolded on the street here behind me back in July of 2016. Now the appeals court says that former officer Arleta should have been able to have his supervisor testify at the trial. It didn't happen, so his conviction is out. This was the video that went around the globe. Behavioral therapist Charles Kinsey lying in the street with his hands up and Arnaldo Rio Soto sitting next to him holding a toy truck. One officer, SWAT team member Jonathan Aleda, thought it was a gun and Kinsey was being held hostage. That's what Aleda told jurors. I would see glimpses of the sun coming off of the object, which had basically a gun, and he had it always concealed. Aleda went to trial twice. The juries couldn't decide on the most serious charges of attempted manslaughter, but he was ultimately convicted of a misdemeanor culpable negligence for shooting Kinsey. My life got turned upside down. Wednesday, the 3rd District Court of Appeals overturned the conviction. The trial court's refusal to allow Assistant Police Chief Rivera to testify as to a latest SWAT training regarding hostage procedures has merit and requires us to reverse a latest conviction. The court also ruled he gets a new trial. Aleda's attorney is Eric Schwartzreich. It's been a long time for Mr. Aleda, and, uh, you know, he's very pleased. We're hoping that this is going to end with the state uh, either dropping the charges or alternatively, Mr. Aleda being found not guilty. Um, culpable negligence, the misdemeanor he was convicted of, the court said, the appellate court said that they should have allowed into evidence his training, his SWAT training, as to why Mr. Aleda or Officer Aleda did what he did that day. Okay. Arnaldo Rio Soto ended up living near Orlando, and the NBC6 investigators followed how his attorney alleged of unfair efforts to have him remove from a group home there. Today, his lawyer, Matt Dietz, reacted to a latest conviction being overturned. Overall, we understand the decision, but we're very disappointed by it. Essentially, um, there are actions that are natural for people that are, are autistic. Like in this case, Arnaldo Rios was skimming back and forth and sitting cross-legged on the street holding a toy truck. To contemplate that different training would have said shooting him because he exhibited those behaviors is extremely troubling. And the state attorney here in Miami-Dade County also expressed disappointment over this third DCA ruling, and they're saying they're taking a look. They might actually appeal. Mr. Schwartzwright says this opens a door for Mr. Aleda to try to get back into law enforcement that he'd actually like to. Mr. Dietz says anything good come out of this is police departments, more of them were training after this to try to help people, well, their officers, when they run across someone with autism. We're live in North Miami. Willard Shepard, NBC6 News.